Alright guys, how's it going? So just as a quick heads up, I'm actually using Blender 2.91.0 Alpha and this just came out two days ago, July the 26th. So just a little bit of news for you there and we'll quickly jump into Blender. And today I want to briefly go over motion paths. Now, there's no magic in this, it's very simple to be honest. And we're going to show the default cube a little bit of love and we're going to quickly animate this. Now, I'm not going to win any awards here, I'm just moving it back and forth. And if I come to the object properties on the right hand side, I can drop down the motion path and you can see here we have two different options, path type and the range, which means in the range of the frames or around the frame. So we'll leave everything pretty much on default, even the start and end. Now we could put the sub steps up a bit, but it should be fine for our process. And I'll hit calculate, I'll bring up the dialog box, hit OK. And you can now see the motion path. Now the great thing about this is it kind of updates on the fly now. So let's move this up here. And I pretty much get a real time motion path. Now this is great if you're doing something like a camera fly through or simple as moving a box up and down. If we go to the display options here, we can enable frame numbers. And this is a good visual indication to tell you like on frame 62, you're essentially at this point in terms of the origin. And that's pretty much motion paths. Now, as a kind of side note, there's a few applications and there's a few commercial add-ons. Let me just quickly check and make sure I've got them here. And you've got like Motion Trial 3D. And it means you can actually edit these curves and it can kind of make life just a little bit easier. But that's for another day. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps. Follow me on Twitter, support me in government. You know what to do. Take care.